Hi, this is Sue with Creations by Sue, and today I'm going to be doing this little romper, uh, putting the name of a little boy on this. It's a three to six month size from AJ Blanks, and I used my Dime Perfect Placement Kit for infants, and this one, um, it, I used this product right here. First of all, I did go ahead and fold this in half and I ironed a little um, light line right there. Didn't really iron it, I finger pressed that. And then I took this dime placement tool and it says that this should be one and a half from one and a half inches from neckline to top of design. So I went ahead and made sure that was the case. This is the one and a half inch and here it is at the top of the neckline. And then I put the sticker in here to mark where I want to put the design, the center of the design that I'll be putting on this little outfit. And my design is one and one sixteenth inches tall. And here you can see it says one inch tall monogram. So it's real close to what it should be. I may center it down just a little bit from the middle line so that since I have that extra one six or yeah, one sixteenth inch in there. So, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and hoop this on the Mighty Hoop. I'm going to be using the 5.5 inch, and then I will put it on my red line and show you how I do the next step. I'll call up my design on my USB by pressing the USB icon, and there is the Baxter name that I'm going to put on this, and I have it in there upside down because I have the shirt hooped upside down. There we go, and then exit that screen, go to screen number three, and there is Baxter, and I want this to be in black, so I'm going to choose color number nine, and now it'll stitch out in black. The next thing I have to do is line up my design, which I will be doing in this screen, in the fourth screen. I want to go to needle number one, so I go to the needle icon, press number one so the head will move. And now I'll work on lining it up by pressing these, these buttons here. This one will move the hoop towards me, this one moves the hoop away from me, hoop to the right, hoop to the left. So I'll work on that right now. I'm going to show you the, design, the shirt itself, or the outfit, and I will be pressing those buttons over on this screen, but I want you to see the needle moving to the spot that I want it to be at. Here is a different view to for you to see, and I'm going to take my presser foot and hold it down and look at where exactly we are landing here, and I do want my design, I need to move this over just a little bit to the right. Or I should say, I guess, let's see, yes, I'm moving it to the left, sorry. I'm pressing the arrow key to get it to move over and that looks really good to me. So that is where I'm going to stitch, sorry. And I'll show you also how I make sure that my needle will not hit the edges of the hoop. Before stitching out any design, you want to be sure to trace it. So you go to this yellow box and then press the trace key, which this one will take the, will show you the trace of the whole design like all around the edges. This one will trace it real closely. So I'm going to do this one. So I press this one. And then once I press that check mark, it's going to go ahead and trace. And so I will do that. But first of all, I'll move the camera again for you to watch the trace happen. For the trace, I like to hold my needle presser foot down and then watch where that goes. So I'll press that check mark and it will trace. And that looks perfect. I'll go ahead and remove the sticker and then I will get this design started. So I'll be exiting that screen and then I'll be pressing, I'll show you what I'll be doing so that you can see what happens, what you need to do. 
guys, some people might be watching this and they are first time or early users of the red line so I don't want to take for granted that you know how to get the design to come up and start stitching. So I'm going to press this red icon with that slash through the needle right here and then press the check mark that it's okay for the design to come up and there is my design and it's upside down just as I want it to be and then I'm going to go ahead and press this button to get it started and that's about all okay and I always stand right here next to this button just in at the beginning of the design stitching out just in case something goes awry I've often found that's the time that that happens another thing is I make a double check that none of this little outfit is caught in the hoop or under the hoop and so, you know where it might get stitched into the design um, I only want the front to be stitched. And here we go. Here is the finished romper that turned out very cute. Uh, the only thing I'll do now is to iron some of that soft touch on the back. I'm probably not naming it exactly correct but I get it from Sulky and it will cover up the stitch on the back so that this doesn't scratch the baby at all. I used some iron-on fusible for this and I also put a layer of tear away under that and I was using the Mighty Hoop. Alright well thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. And be sure to press the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Happy stitching! Enjoy your red line. Bye!